Um, yes. It's on the back of the notes. All right. So first, we're going to write down um, different inequalities just to make sure we remember what inequalities are. So this first one is a less than symbol. Like if we have x is less than 5, x is less than 5. This, if it has a line underneath, is less than or equal to. X is less than or equal to 3, for example. So this time we're going to draw it on a number line. So anytime you draw on a number line, you draw a circle where the number is. Um, if it can equal the number, you fill in that circle. So x is less than or equal to 3. All the numbers that are less than or equal to 3 are all to the left of 3. So less than or equal to 3. x is greater than negative 2. So I'll go ahead and draw this one on a number line also. Uh, X is greater than negative 2, so all the numbers that are bigger than negative 2 would be all the numbers that are to the right. And you'll notice that if you have an inequality, if it's written like this, where uh, the variable's written on the left, then the arrow matches the drawing of the number line. So on the number line, this arrow goes to the left, and here, this goes to the left. So the arrows match, but that's only true if the variable's written on the left. So this is kind of the way we're used to seeing answers written, right? We're used to seeing like, oh, x equals 5, x equals 4, x equals 9. Um, so if it's written kind of the way that you're comfortable with, then the arrows will match. Same thing with this one, x is greater than negative 2. You can see both of the arrows go to the right. They're the same. Right. Um, now this same answer can be written as 3 is greater than or equal to x. These are equal, they're the same. Um, and you'll notice here that the arrows don't match up, and that's because the variable's written on the right side. So the arrows only match if the variable's written on the left. Right. Um, and then the last one will say x is greater than or equal to zero. x is greater than or equal to zero. So solving inequalities is very similar to solving equations. So the steps are very similar to what we did yesterday. The big difference is that if you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality symbol. Anytime you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality symbol. So it's not if you add or subtract a negative, it's not that, it's only if you multiply or divide. So this is one little thing that's different, the rest of it's the same. Okay, so let's try example number one. And we could avoid having a negative and flipping it, but I'm going to force that to happen so we can practice one like that. So I'm going to say the first step that we'll do is taking the 2m over here and adding it to the left side. I'm going to do that so that we have a negative in front of our variable. 
So I'm going to take the 2M, I'm going to do the opposite, and I'm going to move it to the other side. So those zero out. Negative 4M and positive 2M gives you what? Negative 2M. Positive 6 greater than or equal to 14. Okay, so then what should we do? Then we have to take the 6 and move that over because we want to have the variable by itself. So we're going to take the 6, do the opposite. What's 14 minus 6? 8. So negative 2m greater than or equal to 8. All right, and then what should we do? Divide. And what do we divide by? Okay. So when we divide over here, what are we left with? M. We divided by a negative, so what do we do to the sign? Flip it. Inequality sign flips. Goes the other way. And then 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. So M is less than or equal to negative 4. And the instructions tell us to solve the inequality, which we did, but they also tell us to draw a number line. So now I have to go through and say, okay, I've got negative 4, negative 5, there's the negative 3. I draw a circle on it. Should that circle be filled in or not filled in? Filled in? Okay. And then which way should the arrow go? To the left. Okay, for the next one, how should I start? We got parentheses. Distribute, okay. So six is going to multiply in there. So the other stuff gets just left normal. So I'm going to take the 3m and the minus 1. I'm just going to write those down. The negative 7, I'm just going to write it down. And then with the stuff that I distributed, what do I have? 6m and 24. OK. Now, over here I see three terms. Is there any combining I can do? Yeah, we've got seven negatives and 24 positives. Seven negatives, 24 positives. Seventeen, so we got six m plus seventeen. Thank you. Six m plus seventeen, and then on the left side, I'm just going to copy down what I have. Okay. So now, what should we do? subtract the 6m. So if we subtract the 6m over here, then that is a good idea because it keeps our variable on the left side, which we like for the end of the problem. We like it when the variable stays on the left side. So we can do subtract 6m, subtract 6m, subtract 
17. Okay, so we got negative 3m minus 1. Okay. And then what should we do? Add 1. Okay. And then what do we do? Divide. So we have M and negative six. And then what about our sign? Flip it. So M is greater than negative six. Okay. So we got negative six. Negative seven, negative five. Do I fill in the circle or not fill in the circle? Yeah, not fill it in. And then which way should my arrow go? To the right. Okay, do you guys want another example or do you feel like those two were enough? I'm reading a whole lot of nothing on faces. Blank stairs. That's enough? Yeah, we can do four. Okay. So what should we start with on number four? Distribute. Or could we do negative four and negative three makes negative seven? Are you allowed to do that? Anybody know if you're allowed to do that? No. Does anyone know why you're not allowed to do that? Yeah, you have to do parentheses first. So the reason why we're not allowed to do that is back in the day, do you guys remember, uh, like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally? Uh, if you do negative four minus three and get negative seven first, you're doing add subtract first, you're doing those first, and that's the very last thing you do. Does that make sense? That's why we can't do that first. Okay, so the very first thing we should do is the parentheses multiplying negative three inside the parentheses, we're gonna distribute. So I'm just gonna copy this stuff down to start with. And then what do I have for the parentheses? Okay. Negative 3 minus 18x. Now my parentheses are gone. I don't have any exponents. I don't have anything to multiply or divide. So now I can do my adding and subtracting. That's what they mean when they say combine like terms, is you can add or subtract things. So do I have any like terms I can combine? Yeah, now I can do the negative four and the negative three. So four negatives and three negatives, what does that give me? Negative seven. Okay, so I've got negative 18x and a negative seven. Hey. How you doing? I just got a call from Ms. Peggy Lee, Jamie Wilson. 
Okay. Did she call me? Um, she, uh, she did, but your phone might be on silent or something. You didn't even call her because she called me. Yeah, the ring is up loud. That's weird. Okay. Um, all right, and then over here we got negative 21 minus 4x. So what should we do? Okay, we get 14, we still have the negative 21. What should go right here? A plus, so the 14 is a positive. We had a negative four and a positive 18, so that's a positive 14. Okay, uh, now what do we do? Okay. Yeah. Yes, but you got to send me a pass on the thing of jig. Yeah. Hold on, it's going to take me a second to sign in. Have you tried the hall pass yet? The e hall pass? No? You have to sign into NC Ed Cloud and then go to Clever and then e hall pass. Um, all right, and then from here, what do we do? Divide by 14. X is less than 1. Okay. Now, we did not flip the sign that time. Why not? We divided by a positive. We didn't divide by a negative. Does that make sense? So we didn't have to flip the sign. Okay, so our number line this time if we draw a circle on 1 Fill it in or not fill it in? Don't fill it in. And then which way should our arrow go? To the left. OK. OK. Um, since I couldn't find copies of the assignment, I'm going to print them again. Um, so you guys can go ahead.